What is going on guys, this is Tommy Plays, and today I'm bringing another video on how to record. Now, uh, this way I think is a lot better than just using Shadow Play. Uh, I did a Shadow Play video really, uh, not a really long time ago, but quite a while ago. Like, you know, how to record with Shadow Play, but today I'm bringing a different video. And uh, I find this way to be a lot more uh, useful, just for editing and stuff. And uh, I'll show you guys why when I actually try to do it. So, uh... You're going to want to go to this website here, uh, and I'll put a link in the description, Open Broadcast Software. You guys have probably heard of this before. But all you want to do is you're going to want to hit uh, this button right here if you have Windows 7, 8, or 10. Uh, so yeah, just hit that. Uh, don't get this, because um, this is not the one I'm using. Get this one here. Alright, so once you do that, just install it and everything, you know, just like you'd normally do. And once it's installed, you're going to want to open it up. So I have it here. Okay. So once this is open, uh, what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to go to settings down here. Once you're here, go to the video tab. Alright, so once you're here, you just want to make sure this is on uh, 1920 by 1080 and this is also on 1920 by 1080 and make sure this is on uh... uh... Lank sauce I, really don't, I, probably don't, I probably said that wrong but it's okay yeah but this is basically the best quality you can get out of it and if you want to record in 60 fps make sure this is on 60 fps okay and then you just want to hit apply down here make sure you hit apply and then uh, we're going to want to go to audio. Okay, so here, uh, if you want to, you can leave it on default, but just to be safe, uh, just make sure you put it on speakers. I mean, uh, the audio coming from the game is more than likely going to be from out of speakers, so you can click that. Uh, for my microphone, uh, you can you can click microphone if you want to, but for some reason when I did it, it didn't actually record my microphone, so I just kept it on default. Uh, I don't know why it didn't, but if you need to, uh, yeah, just, uh, click on microphone and keep it on default, it really doesn't matter, I guess. But, uh, make sure all of this is the same, 44.1, and stereo. Okay, and then again, hit apply, and then we're going to want to go to output, right here. Okay, so, here you're going to want to go to recording because obviously we're not streaming and then uh, here you can decide where you want your game stage to go and then here make sure you hit mp4 okay and click check one and two on the audio track and then uh, if you have an NVIDIA GPU and this is only for the NVIDIA GPU. Click Invinch. Uh, basically, if you don't know, NVIDIA GPUs have a little chip inside them that basically allows them to record. That's why you can record with Shadow Play without, you know, having any problem with uh, lag or anything. So if you do this, you won't lag it. Like, you'll probably lose maybe two or three frames from recording. But if you don't have an NVIDIA chip, you won't be able to use this and just use the default preset that's already on here. Okay, and uh, again, 1920 by 1080 here. And I think if it's on the default preset, yeah, you don't get any of this, do you? Actually, this might be the default preset. If you see this stuff, do what I'm about to do. Okay, click this and make sure it's on CBR. And then change this bit rate to 50,000. So you get really good quality. All right. And then just keep the rest of this the same, and then hit apply, and then uh, okay. Or actually, first go to hotkeys. If you want to, you can set up a hotkey here. Mine is normally a uh, F9. That's the one I prefer. But uh, with the screen recorder that I'm using right now, I can't use F9. Alright, so 
once you do that, hit OK, and then you're going to want to go here to Mixer, this little gear thing here. And what you're going to want to do is, you're going to want to set it up so it looks like this. Okay, so normally all of them would be checked here, but you want to set them up so it's only these two checked. So uncheck all of these. And basically what this is, is it records your microphone and your death and like the game audio in a completely different track so you can edit them a lot more freely. All right. Okay, so once you do that, uh, you're going to want to go over to scenes. And as you can see, I have my uh, desktop scene here. And PS4 scene, this is for when my... I don't, I, I still use the Elgato to record my PS4, but instead of using the Elgato software, I do use OBS. And of course, you have your game. Now, normally, uh, what you're going to want to do here, I'll just set up a new one. You, if you need to, add a new scene, and I'll just call this game uh, 1. And then, for sources, you're going to want to right click, hit add, and then hit game capture. Okay, you can, I'll just keep on calling it game capture 1. You can uh, rename it to anything you want. And then make sure capture any full screen application is checked. What this will do is it should it should capture any uh, game that's in full screen. So like uh, like if you're running a game and it's in full screen uh, and not windowed, it will capture it. And then you just want to hit OK. And then when you're running a game, this will show up. The only reason why I have Minecraft is because I don't want Minecraft in a uh, full screen, so I have to have a separate uh, thing for that. But anyways, uh, once you do that, you should be ready to record uh, a game. I'm just going to remove this for a second. Okay. So, I'll show you guys uh, what to do here. So I'll go on ahead and click on Game Capture, and I will open up uh, NBA 2K16. Okay guys, so apparently uh, the full screen thing didn't actually uh, work when I was trying to record the game, so instead of doing that, just right click on uh, the sources, then click add, and then game capture, and, it's, and then uh, you can name it the game that you want to, so I'll just call this uh, NBA, and then unclick capture any full screen application, because it didn't seem like that worked, who knows, it might work for you. And then just click the game. So as you can see here, NBA 2K16. So I'll just click that. And then I'll hit OK. And it should come up now. Yep, there it goes. Alright. So now if I go to I go to play now. And I'll just It's the 2K start Sports this game. Game show. Greetings everybody, welcome and to I'll 2K Sports. Do a little bit of recording with and show you guys. Okay, so once you're done recording uh, what you want to, it's going to go to where you saved it to. So I have it here. Uh, here's the video file. And what you're going to want to do is you're going to want to bring up your uh, editing software. Now, if you don't have editing software, uh, keep in mind that um, recording in 60 FPS will create very big files. So if you don't have... There it is can't get to it <laughs> if you don't have a uh, recording software because a recording software uh, compresses the file when it's done uh, make sure you get a compressing program I use handbrake uh, wherever it is here it is I use handbrake right here to compress files that are very big I use this for my stories the be public series because I never really edited those unless I really had to so as you can see it actually uh, uh, recorded the game in like different audio tracks one for the microphone and one for the actual gameplay and most games don't actually do that so this is the microphone right here and uh, you can adjust the volume if you need to for that so here Go you can hear okay so I am here and it's the to start out. Uh, maybe a 2k16 as you can see Nobody the audio Sounds good. very and if I mute team. that, you can't hear me. He's got himself going there, his first points of the game on the deep ball. And if I mute Which this, you can't hear the game now. Normally, what I get on this game. With the Cavs and individually. So as you can see, this is very good because it gives you a lot more editing space. 
So like if your microphone is louder than you want it to be, you can tune down the volume a little bit without uh, also taking down the game volume. And then obviously you're just you go and render this. Uh, if you're recording in 60 FPS, so uh, with the recording software, you probably want to record it in 60 FPS with. Uh, I mean, render it in 60 FPS. But I'm not going to show you how to do that since this is a recording video. So uh, I want to thank you guys uh, so much for watching. I hope uh, this did help. I think this is by far the best way to actually record. Uh, just. I, th I think the only thing I didn't mention is that, uh, you know, when you start recording, hit your hotkey. Or come over and hit start recording here. Ideally, you're going to want this uh, this program in a different monitor so you can actually see it when it's recording to make sure it's actually, you know, ping up the gameplay and stuff. But uh, anyways, I hope you guys enjoyed this video. I hope, uh, I hope it was helpful to some of you. If it was, uh, make sure to like and subscribe. And uh, as always... Have a nice day. Up, up, and away we go. Up, up, and it's making me glow.